<clears throat> All right. Already two in the night, but not gonna stop me. <laughs> gonna be a rather short stream now because I, I really do need to go to sleep in about an hour and a half. The wildlife is safe now. Good. I'm glad you bumped into me. Our little chat reminds me... Uh, hold on. <laughs> okay, so then. Our little chat reminds me... Been a while since I talked to anyone about this. About anything on my mind, really. I'm back at HQ, near the entrance. Can we... talk more? I'll meet you there. You're back. For now, or...? Do I have a choice? I'm trying to keep us safe. Trying to keep my husband safe. Maybe you should talk to him. Tell him what's on your mind. He seems so in love with you. Jin's got so much love in him, it'd be selfish for me to hoard it all to myself. Only makes sense he'd want a family. Back on Earth? I grew up in a harsh place, shaped by people like Mercer. Always people like him. That look in my parents' eyes always stuck with me. A mix of warmth and fear of failing to protect the one thing that mattered the most. Hell, that animal you freed? It'll look after its own one day, and it'll know that pain. I don't think it's thought that far. It's in its nature to produce offspring and protect its young. Like all parents, I guess. <laughs> yeah, just dumb instinct and love. Jin can't imagine me failing. He loves me too much. And I don't know how to tell him I'm terrified. <laughs> I should talk to him. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. <laughs> Um, there's um, a, a part, the, the sort of like, the very root of this game is a bunch of like generic open world triple A game, uh, uh, SJW writing, like, you know, action scenes, like, the root of this game starts like that, but then, probably because of the passion of the people who worked on this game, Probably because they're fans of, you know, the, the IP, right? They put so much effort into to sort of fleshing out so many details, right? So even though sort of the core root is highly generic of this game, that's only a small part of the game because the game branches out um, in terms of, like, the kind of detail that's in the game, right? So... <laughs> In, in, in that piece of dialogue, we, we, we had the typical 2020 sort of SCW culture, uh, you know, strong woman stereotype being a little bit shoved down our throat a little bit, you know? And there's nothing wrong with it, it's just that, you know, it feels boring to have this in all popular media nowadays so much, right? Because they're all playing it safe, they're all jumping on the same bandwagon all at the same time, so, you know. Ironically, if everybody does it, then nobody wants to run into it all the time because they've already they've already run into it everywhere they go, right? But <laughs> yeah, even in we saw it right there because that that conversation started generic, and then we just had some random sort of opinion thrown in there, I guess, from whoever was writing that that little mini part of the script of the entire game. <laughs> I thought was amusing. It was sort of symbolic of the whole game. They thought oh, um... you were off conspiring with the enemy or something? Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I was. Just not that time. Yeah, the game is both generic and wonderful. It has its wonderful parts and its generic parts. It was either become a mechanic or a plumber. Now I get to be both. You can 
you clip it to one of those things and it'll just shake it off. It sounds like the Aranahit knew our people well. Maybe they have stories we can spread. We have so much to learn from the Aranahit. Their balance, their artistry. Hey, you see anything good out there? Let me know. I could do with a better rifle. Mine's fallen apart. You can't have mine. <laughs> the supplies seem low around here. Things aren't so different here than in my hometown. You get up, you fight, you eat if you're lucky. Then you lie down and you get ready to do it all over again. I figured at least with the RDA, the food would be good. It wasn't. <laughs> no wonder you left. I saw what their soldiers do to people here. People like you. I told Jin, get your stuff, we're leaving. He was happy to leave as well? Jin would be happy anywhere. Give him a stove and some timber to whittle, and he'll die happy. What's faster, an Ikran or my Samson? Nice threads. Here you go. Have a look. Here you go. Have a look. A downgrade on our RDA damage, really. Covering up my part indicate. Tactical compensator. I'm not that tactical, so no need to compensate. Damage after killing enemy. Weak spot damage. Hmm. Could be. Could be good. Thirty-eight damage. Oh, that's literally better than everything we have. <clears throat> better than everything we have. shell out for this I think so remember point away from the user remember that this exists you got anything for a headache on you what is it did your mask spring a leak or did some of the equipment don't tell me you got a lung full of coolant or something worse Alexander tried to explain his new theory to me. <laughs> cool gear. Did you make that? The Here is what I have. Choose with care. <clears throat> um, I've turned off the marking in the HUD, but they are still getting marked. Damage to marked enemies. This could be, uh, tactical string. Sec ops. That is where those are. Do not be caught off guard. 
The rainforest is ready to rise up. <laughs> rise up. Maybe the Arana hair will come here now to meet us. They won't like all this metal. What will the Arana hair think of us? We are so different from them. Some days I just want to get away from this place. <clears throat> so we've done 7% of the uh, RDA basis. You ever feel like we're kind of understaffed? Just got to get those defector numbers up. Get the info into every bunk room on every base. Easier said than done, though. Getting people to take that leap from an air-conditioned facility to whatever it is we have out here. I mean, it's just so cool to set back our plans. I'm just some jarhead, but even I can see the work you're putting in. It's making a difference to Pandora. <sighs> hey there. Thanks for coming. Going into that bunker seems so risky, but Alma's hunch was right. Yeah. To think those kids were locked up there for years. What an awful thing to do. RDA's just so damn ugly behind their cool company mask. Gotta bring those jerks down. You need a new look. Hmm, <laughs> yeah, do we? Um, yeah. You're right. We do need a new look. It's an upgrade. Downgrade. Downgrade. Probably. I don't know. I don't know how resistance stacks. Like if, because if it's additive, right? If it's if it's like damage taken is a hundred percent minus total percent resistance, right? And if you stack enough of this. Well, if you stack to 100%, you'd become immortal. But yeah, if you if you can get it really high, like 90%, then you're that's like 10 times more combat potential. is a little bit tempting there was also that uh shotgun mod they as well look good out there the animal you found with no kuru they're called ferals rda captured them removed their kuru it was unbelievably cruel why would anyone do such an awful thing to control them. Didn't work, of course, just made them suffer. Made them impossible to tame. And I was a part of it. My greatest shame. Now they kill without reason. That's why I left the RDA. But I couldn't save them. We have to put a stop to it. Give them a merciful death. Yes. Do the right thing. In larger numbers, though. Wreck the ecosystem. Anka mentioned seeing some strange activity on one of her flights. Could be ferals. I will send you the coordinates. I am sorry it has come to this. Oh boy. This could be really stupid. Um. If it's some kind of like genetic change that has altered these animals and like mutated them and then them and their children will be this way now, then maybe there's something to this argument. But um, if it's just some finite number of animals that they chopped off the, uh, whatever the, whatever they're called, the neural whip or whatever, um, um, 
if it's just some like limited number of animals that they did this to, um, I, I don't believe supposedly impact the ecosystem. Okay, this will just this will just burn itself. I mean, th this will just run out of steam on its own, right? I can still make the mercy argument, right? But but this uh, ecosystem uh, argument here to get you all excited uh, sounded very dumb. Are we gonna get some shoes? I, I just noticed there's a, there's a, there's like a shoe slot here. <laughs> Why? I haven't seen this until now. <laughs> Isn't the moon updated? Oh yeah, yeah, it's it's the gear. Preferred nectar and fish. My my ekran likes nectar and fish. Is it just me? Or does this seem like a really bad idea? Because like, I feel like we're covering up field of vision here. Like, like think about it. Like we're we can no longer look forward. I I, I don't think this helmet is very smart. Way too wide. the default because I don't see anything change when I unequip something else it becomes this I think I don't see anything change this one's kind of nice Hardly tell the difference between these two. Uh, color, color scheme. One's a bit darker. <coughs> this one's more pink. See, see, this, this, this element makes sense. Like, the eyes are not, like, literally covered up or whatever. I guess they're, they're covered up still a little bit, I guess. Lines all crooked. More Navi on board, huh? Man, I should get a 
get some stilts. Never has something been so beautiful and so terrifying all at the same time. A Thanator den? Well, a remote location, no pollution whatsoever. Of course it had to be potentially occupied by some dangerous wildlife. And I've sent you there without a heads up. Stupid. Almost got you killed. And I've only got a few samples for you. I wish I could have gathered more. Don't worry. If the samples are good enough, the data from them will still be sufficient. And now that we know that this is a dangerous territory, this knowledge will save lives. You know, people died exploring and studying Pandora. Some of them I knew very well. And they could have done so much more. I need to do better when considering the risks. People trust me when I send them out there. I must prove it's worth it. The samples you've collected will contribute into that. Wonderful armaments. Yeah, look, look at this artifact thing. I am not a fan. Hmm. I feel like a bit, a bit dangerous to change these settings because of how much suffering we went through experimenting with them. Fascinating. We just have to live with it. Maybe the Aranae will let me examine how Home Tree is structured. Nothing has gone wrong. How's it going? There's no empirical basis for that claim. Nothing has gone wrong for a while because I haven't changed any settings. I haven't uh, deviated from what actually works. I almost started messing around there, trying to get rid of that artifacting, but you hear not about worth Bridgehead? It. Just that it's supposed to be pretty big. <sighs> big? It makes Hell's Gate look like a picnic in the woods. We're talking about the next level of RDA intrusion on Pandora here. Oh, Emily would love it here. Oh, uh. The Aranahe have some very interesting herbal remedies. I've only read about them, but maybe now I can study one for real. <clears throat> All right, what is our quest? Yeah, there's nothing more in the... The intricacy of life here. Endlessly fascinating. Nothing more in Resistance it HQ. Gone, but it's definitely reduced. The rainforest is ready to rise up. Rise up. Um, all right, Has we gotta decide. Has this moon since the rebellion, you know? Yes, but he never talks about the old days. Actually, he doesn't talk much about anything. Not to me, anyway. Well, what can you do? Some folk are just naturally quiet like that. Here you go. Have a look. All right. It's done. Remember, point away from the user. Come to gear up. You take care of yourself. <clears throat> the Aranahe are proud. Cold, some would say. I did not expect them to join us. Are you ready? Here is what I have. Mm. Oh, wait a minute. We already have eight RDA damage. And this is, only, this, this is just a tiny bit more. But maybe it's a separate... Maybe they multiply, you know? Maybe, maybe like RDA 
add so like we have 15 percent plus five percent is 20 percent right but maybe 10 percent is sort of 1.5 multiplier on whatever our final total ends up being right Th this could be good if that's what it is yeah let let's not do not be caught off guard Love to get more of that Zakru war. Maybe the Aranahe will come here now to meet us. They won't like all this metal. I think the people here like us. Okay. This scrap can always be useful. You know, you I know would never go doing. back to Psyops. Yeah, it sucked. But man, would I kill for a can of Viper Wolf ale. I think we need to go sell our gear, our, our pouch is full, we need to sell. I don't think that design's gonna hold up in the field, but that's just me. Jake's hideouts in the Hallelujah Mountains. I see the scenic appeal, but getting all that gear up there? I think it's the perfect spot. Any RDA airship gets close, and Flux Vortex is gonna mess up their instrument and reveal there. You're hungry, huh? A graphical artifact up in there. Flash. Maybe, maybe this is a cursed boot. Every time you boot up the computer, you you never know like how the, the programs all load in what order and stuff. Sometimes, you know, the machine spirit is just uh, not willing. Whoa! 
I fear how many we may lose in war. What would you like? We literally never do any of these challenges. <laughs> Through a wind tunnel? What? Interior. Oh, we already did this. We can do it again for sure. May the winds treat you well. Alright, um So we are here. I almost went up to the King Lore. Um, but we need to craft. Oh. We will all see better silk soon. I am sure of Cut up knows what is best, I am sure. But war? This is unexpected. Right. Put it in the bag. <laughs> Arnie A food. Not good enough. Fine, fine. Tua is right. The sky people fine. Are Need to want to prove. Right, how about okay? How about we we have a policy of let's maintain three of each, right? One row, right? Did you hear what Etua said? <clears throat> Alright, show me the basket. How are you? <clears throat> Where's the community basket? Katnab must believe there is no alternative to war. <sighs> mm, I don't remember where the basket is. Was it actually just up on the platform? You are courting trouble. On here. Tell me, do you hunt well? <clears throat> Leto calls these berries ripe. Will it mean? Home tree does seem more peaceful now that the king lore are at ease. The war cannot be avoided, for hunters especially. Etua was right. I should have seen it. Feelings more delicate than a king lore. Ash. Of course. I never doubted you. Medic. Uh. Etua is a champion. You proved Katnat wrong. Not many can say that. I will find justice for Zorme in the fight ahead. Where, but where is the community bag? Where, where is that thing? I must have just missed it on the first floor. Where's, where's the community basket? Not here. No. All right, it must have been at the bottom. I must move up the training of our youngest hunters. The 
There is no honor in fleeing this place. <sighs> Not randomly here, is it? In good health. Knows a war is madness. How can my silks help in war? More arrow strings, maybe. Let by for wolves fly. Oh, we did miss it. <clears throat> it's right there. <laughs> Where did you learn to string a bow like that? Not from me, I tell you. Strong bows and sharp arrows. We will prevail. We are not some brawling Zeswa. Etua should know better. Archery is an art as much as weaving is. Some might call it a superior art. Still seems like nonsense to me. Katna is right. Do not invite chaos. You will not be laughing when a Thanatos swipes your tongue. Tiny sky people, they will wear our spears like feathers. The heroes be so much happier already. Always be ready. A single arrow can turn the tide of battle. knows a war is madness. Are we really ready for war? Katnat will make things right. He always does. Sharp arrows, yes. But even sharper eyes. Katnap knows what is best, I am sure. But war? 
this is unexpected. Decorations are all very pretty, but a bow is meant for more than beauty. You are courting trouble. Energy <clears throat> after killing an enemy. It is better to be loved. <sighs> Now that, that sounds truly useless. Did you hear what Etua said? The sky people are no real threat. They are tiny. My hunts are for meat, not the sky people. A little Zakru cheese would go well with this. Archery is an art as much as weaving is. Some might call it a superior art. Strong bows and sharp arrows. We will prevail. You are courting trouble. Saren too. We really ready for war. Is Mufika boring you again? <clears throat> that actually grow it, or, or am I just wasting these? I'm, I'm not sure that that it grows the, the gratitude at all. A war still seems like nonsense to me.
decorations are all very pretty, but a bow is meant for more than beauty. <clears throat> it like bumps down, but then I feel like it bumps up again. I, I wonder, like, do I need to add this much for it to count? Like a minor amount of value will not do anything. I just, I just wasted it mostly. Oh, maybe we needed to craft pretty good looking gear and then Always donate it. A single arrow can turn the tide of battle. Maybe I just wasted 150 crafting ingredients. That knows what is best, I am sure. But war? This is unexpected. Hmm. <clears throat> I think we're. How can my silk pass Viper wolf meat exists, but. I'm kind of I'm kind of being brought around to the um <clears throat> take less damage buff. Did you hear what Etua said? it's a good idea to we reinforce we make ready but we do not lose our head. pair up the food of the same quality will make things right. He always does. <clears throat> Alright, it's cooking time.
Have a look then. <clears throat> nothing. On, nothing available, really. Alright, um. Let's try crafting that thing we were Our asked to craft. Returned. Like I said, we need bruise moss. But do not expect too much from me when you get it. A war still seems like nonsense to me. Bruise moss. Saturn too. I am afraid Nefika has misled you. I do not have much to teach anyone. Um. I mean that. What was it like? Bruise moss superior, any tooth superior. I don't think we have that. Yeah, we, we don't have that. They will wear right. Do that. Greenwood Lab. I peak lab. It feels like feathers. Is there any way? Is it the store? How many avatar points do we have? So you earn these in game. I'm sure. You get these. Sure, there's like a. I'm I'm looking for the place I can swipe my credit card. Not not to do so, but just to have my faith, have my sort of lack of faith in humanity confirmed. I guess it's not on this screen. It's just on the um. On the Ubisoft store, probably. I guess we gotta we got this. All the all the cosmetics. Details. Cosmetic, cosmetic, cosmetic. Yeah, you just get cosmetics. <clears throat> oh, by the way, we can get one of those. Um, heavy bow for sniping, um, short bow while moving. Yep. <clears throat> Soon. Soon. Max Payne awaits. Alright. Uh, what was a high, high something lab? Greenwood and IP. Is all that Ikran Rookery climbing just here? Just these? I, I, guess, I guess the rocks don't show everything. I guess there's this more. There's actually more rocks than there are shown. On this map. Hey! <clears throat> we 
we found one of the places. Is Nefika boring you again? Pay her no mind. Because we need to bring food for Nagun. Did you hear what Etua said? Oh. And the moon likes nectar and fish. I guess the real meme is to find out, so... Mushroom... Meat, fruit... I knew Kata would find courage to Are we really ready for war? <clears throat> oh yeah, and somewhere out there, there is a Navi camp. Oh, this one wants fortune's fruit, yeah? <laughs> Whoa! Can I help with something? Don't say that. And, uh, this. This is something. Come back if you need more. Oh yeah, and uh, one more thing. Uh, we should craft ourselves not merely for somebody else weak spot damage damage range resistance weak spot damage ah we we want one of those our gender's defense vest stealth wildlife damage Moss. Alright, so we can't craft it. We cannot craft it, but we would really like to. Any tooth, any moss. Friend. Tooth and moss. How can my silks help in war? More arrow strings, maybe. The sky people are running scared, I see. But do not get too confident. That would be a downgrade. Apparently. <clears throat> we currently have firearms damage. It'd be really hard to top, to top that. Iden bark. Saturn two. Feeling 
seems more delicate than a king lord may. Tap tap knows what it is. I am sure. But war? This is unexpected. What? Ah, <clears throat> oh, we don't. Can't even make it at all. Mm, glass cannon. Here to hunt with us. Etua is young. She is naive. I'm great. She her mother. Strong bows and sharp arrows. We will prevail. Katnat will make things right. He always does. Our war still seems like nonsense to me. Storm Arrow. That's probably insanely good. Or uh, if it's what I think it is, I think I think it's uh, it's one of those stun grenades, except as an arrow. Here your root, any reed, fine. Any root, any reed root, fast. Did you hear what Etua said? Good to see you again. Friend. I, I don't think we ever find any root. I think that's why we haven't been able to make a lot of these bows. <clears throat> Alright, we tried. Again, the Honorable Saren. Forgot.
That's your favorite, isn't it, Nimun? the sky people. <gasps> Home tree must gain her strength back. The, the lab was it here
that. <clears throat> it's actually a bit of a problem. Right there. Sound of rain and stuff, like atmo the atmosphere in this case, literally with the rain <clears throat> and the thunder and stuff, is just absolutely wonderful in this game. Is this guy In here? Yeah, I don't know. friend I'm sure it'll be worth your time let them dig their hole and lie in it hi anything I can help with hey get a load of this our Navi friend here avoided some RDA guys on their usual path said they were digging in the southeast thought something got lost in translation but nah sounds weird as hell to me 
A friend here says it's nothing, and yeah, sure, maybe I'm overthinking this. But what if I'm not? Is it true? There are RDA burying dangerous things in secret? Yes, that is what I saw, and what I see all the time. Sky people doing things for their strange reasons. This is new, but hardly concerning. Where did you see the sky people digging? I do not recall completely. There was a meandering stream nearby, mountains floating overhead. That is it. Okay, that's enough to locate it. I can take a look for you. My friend, that is a relief to hear. Let's hear it. What'd you find? Nothing yet. I'll let you know. All right. Boiling spool crossed east over the tangled stream. Went uphill. Short way uphill from the shore. We already left shipping containers. Other <sighs> metal objects at their dig site. Well, I don't know where the boiling spool is. Or floating mountains overhead. And this place looks really cool. Hey, there's like a flower there. Did we visit? I, I think we visited this. Maybe we haven't unlocked it yet. Oh. Well, we haven't. No, no, no. We have not visited this. So, so yeah, we we just don't know yet. They exist. Ool Island. What? That's the Spool Island, and then the Coiling Spool is not there. Different Spool. Alright, can we find the Tangled Stream? Tangled Lake? Hey, that's new. Um... Hmm, that's Ekron related, right? That's the Tangled Stream. They crossed east over the Tangled Stream. He left from the Coiling Spool. So the Coiling Spool is somewhere here. And then they crossed east. And there's a dig site. I can go here in any case. Seeing some sort of facility pumping out waste. You're looking at a gas oil. Holy shit. Another piece of water from the RDA engineers. A missile.
Alright, we've learned our lesson. We gotta read this stuff immediately. You remember Nathan Williams? Botany. Supervisor notes. Good work on the last samples. Mateo said they were all intact. Some of the best they've had so far. I know this field work is a little different from what you were expecting, but you're doing great. We need more like you. Keep it up. Energy. Mm, I see two things. Oh, that's the grenades. the dig site? Not really crossing the river. Hey, it's like a... Oh yeah, this is the coiling spool. Any of those. Never even seen it. Cut not knows a war is madness. Only in the best teacher one could hope for. He does know that he can, but he can push others a little hard sometimes. Some need a little push, and he is there to give it. My hunts are for me, not the sky people. What a waste. You are courting trouble. Okay, so they went from the coiling spool, they went over here. Um Another one of these pictures. Wait, what? Oh, I'm in the exploration category. Um.
crossed east over the tangled stream and went a short way uphill from the shore. <clears throat> yeah, this is not exactly so uphill at like there. Visible hill. Floating mountains, meandering stream. Just a minute, sorry. Oh, took a while for physics to kick in there. Treatment processing <clears throat> found in an abandoned shipping container. Budgetary concerns on the different levels of water processing on Pandora called for a separate study on the e efficacy of carbon filtration for water used on plants in our research labs. However, it is a crucial step as herbicides can pass freely through a reverse osmosis membrane. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, sometimes. Sometimes I scan these to check for anything suspicious. My supervisor was right behind me as I was typing. I'll encrypt before I send. I'm going to go at midnight, and the tailor says he'll come too. He's given himself the code name Lion, but I swear he's chill. We have to pick up point. Please, please, please be there, please. So, this good stuff here, we hold on to it. The longer this fight goes on, the more it'll appreciate. It's what we're owed. If you're listening to this, means you're part of the shall we say inner circle yeah 
Bit of a COVID-19 joke there. Uh-oh, am I gonna get <clears throat> demonetized from YouTube now? Um, before I'm, I've ever earned any money on YouTube. Um, yeah, the, the toiletry <laughs> it will, it will appreciate in value, okay? That's the treasure. <clears throat> All right. You like it, New Moon. And do we though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This un untagged uh, station. Turn to Hell's Gate, found in the Resistance Field Lab. Ajid Bashara. The RDA have left Pandora. Or have they really? I'm still here with a handful of others. We even have Dr. Alma Cortez, a xenoanthropologist whose work I read back on Earth. She has an avatar. Something to do with the project she was on. I did not pry. Mostly though Hell's Gate is a goat mostly though Hell's Gate is a ghost town, as far as humans go. I have to admit that I like it. When I first day back, I went into Selfridge's office and sat in his chair for a while. Not sure why. It made the RDA retreat feel more, more real, though, somehow. I've also accessed some of Dr. Augustine's work. The research he was able to do while under the RDA only adds to my shame. He was working to understand Pandora while I was working to corrupt it. I'd like to study Jake and his transformation, or transference, as it were. But he scowls at my questions. Too busy for them. Too busy for them. I, do not, I don't blame him. The rebellion left its mark on this world as well, and there's much to do, especially for someone in his position. Still, he is something not, he is something none of us have ever seen before. Human, Avatar, and Navi combined. Yeah, that is... Because uh, it's... Uh, debatable whether Jake actually just died at the end of the first movie or not. Um... I mean, it seems to me that's 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 kind of how the Awa memory thing seems to work. I mean, he seems to just kind of take pictures, you know, snapshots of like uh, whatever's like connected to it, the memory and stuff, right? But either way, we have a character exactly like Jake running around for the sequels. <laughs> We're good. Make more money on the franchise. How many, how many movies are we gonna have now? Like, did I, I, I couldn't believe it when, when I heard it was like gonna be an Avatar sequel. I was like, what? And that story was done in the first movie. And uh, I sort of expected the second movie to not be that good. Or to be like exactly like the first movie all over again. We somehow managed to not do that, even though the guy who made it is called James Cameron and tends to make very similar movies that are very good, that are made very well. A master craftsman. I, I, it's just real fast, like, in my opinion, like, the essence of art is that it sort of it sort of causes the audience to have um, at least the illusion of a kind of realization or insight yeah I say illusion because it doesn't need to you know the audience doesn't need to be sort of guided to think something true I mean as long as they you know as long as the audience feel that they 
got some kind of insight from watching it, then I, I would say that's art. You know, so art is subjective because it's in the eye of the beholder, right? And an artist is just somebody who is able to do that, right? However, um, if it can be done by like a machine or or like if it can be done at like an industrial scale, well, well then it's not really art and it's just craftsmanship or whatever. Um, and uh, James Cameron exists in this odd place where a lot of his movies are very formulaic, but he has such an insane attention to detail and effort that the idea of the movie might not be art. The, the, the formula, right? The formula might not be art, but the sort of level of execution is like uh, completely unmatched by anybody else making movies that I know of. So, in a way, that's the art. That's the irreplaceable thing. Movies. Insane. Insane thorough attention to detail in like every every way. So, I'm a I'm a fan. Okay. But yeah, uh, went from having one Avatar movie to to, to me hearing there was going to be three, and then it's like, no, it's going to be five. What? <laughs> uh, at this at this point, I feel like we're never going to stop. You think he's going to stop? Stop at five? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I feel like the only thing. The, the James at Cameron continues to make progress on the Avatar project, so if anybody's gonna slow him down, they they gotta move fast. Um, I don't know. I feel like I feel like the only thing that's gonna stop, <laughs> only thing that's gonna stop the Avatar franchise is like James Cameron dying. <laughs> Let's be honest. And even that's not gonna help because because it's like a Disney like we're, we're gonna get like lame Disney, not re well sort of reboots. We're, we're gonna we're gonna get like soft reboots, for sure. We're gonna get like twenty year twenty years from now, twenty years from now we're gonna have the J Bra we're gonna have the J J Abrams of the day. Uh. Make. A, 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 basically a, a beat for beat rehash of the first Avatar movie. You know, some somebody comes comes to Pandora. You know, like a shot of water. Like he meets a meets like a Navi woman. He falls in love with. He learns to be Navi, and then he realizes, oh no, the group he's working for is gonna do something horrible to some. Some natives or some animal wildlife or some some nature stuff and then gotta lead a or you know gain leadership gain the trust somehow with desperate like we're just gonna be a beat for beat re remake of that first movie I bet it's gonna happen in 20 years <clears throat> and it's gonna be uh really bad <laughs> By then, I'm not gonna care though. I, uh. I truly. I really, really, really don't care about how they butcher Star Wars at this point because I don't care about Disney Star Wars, basically. I've, I've managed to. I've managed to stop being sort of bothered by how that's being treated. What am I doing? I'm headed for the base. Do I want to do this now? Mm. No. The answer is definitely no. Because... It's a 
time. So late. Oh, there was a graphical artifact again. Yeah, there's some something's off with the simulation. Sudden, <clears throat> sudden changes to the uh, the models. I think we gotta quit. We gotta, we gotta quit while the going is good. Too late anyway. Oh, another one. We gotta, we gotta hurry. What a hidden meme. I only went here because I, I, I wanted access to the treetop, you know? Like that. Oh, it's Ikran gear. It's not a... Differently colored version of the Ikran gear that covers up the eyes. Hey, there's Sarin to totems up here. And graphical glitches. Spawn the moon. Whoa! Another totem of my people. Need to find the right angle to look at it from. Oh my God! This, <laughs> this game, it's gonna be this again. This didn't last time. This didn't work last time. Am I supposed to go here? Is it here or here? This looks like a path. We'll go here. You know what? I bet if I just walk the path here, I think we'll just work out, okay? We'll just take the obvious stairway path and we're just gonna we're just gonna come up. It's gonna work. side Oh boy
go here, dude. It's not the top of the tree, is it? Hmm, the path is here. gonna try something. We're just gonna try to get over there. Alright. We'll do that tree. There we go. This is somehow even worse than, well, mm, yeah, kind of, like, this, this is somehow even worse than the first one. These, these arrows. I feel like it's, it has to be telling you, go here, go from here to here, or go in there, like, it has to be that. But, well, now we can't even see it. <laughs> but but it doesn't take you to the solution it didn't the first time the first time this the solution was this random random place i'm gonna try going there you where to stand I bet on all of them blue flowers all right we gotta remember this there's blue flowers and there's like wood oh the view here is feels like I can almost touch the sky or see the land from a different angle it's like mounting in Ikran but the land beneath is not in constant motion it's still and calm. <laughs> Could stare at all the little details for hours. Is this what my people felt here? Yeah, true. Beautiful game, it really is. I've said it before, but this is the first game, I, I think, in like 10 years where I've been impressed by the graphics. That's not to say that graphics have not improved in the last 10 years, just that they they haven't really, like, amounted to anything. There have been minor improvements that, that don't really lead to any critical, sort of, no critical thresholds, really, like, like, we already had enough triangles on people's faces, you know? like, doubling the number of triangles isn't really making the faces look any better. Um, 
and a lot of the new, a lot of the lighting technology, all of the RTX stuff, like, and the other, you know, post-processing stuff they innovated on, um, actually in, in a sort of indirect way actually made games look worse, because, um, um, back in 2010, like, there was, like, some heat haze distortion effects that got invented back then that looked kind of good, and there was bloom, which is almost like a baked texture effect. Like, the, there was, like, this little fog around, like, glowy objects and stuff, which which is not realistic, but I actually think it, it tended to produce very good-looking games. Um, it tended to produce environments that actually look a lot like, um, like Pandora at night. <laughs> Um, which at least for sci-fi and fantasy stuff actually looked really good. Um, for photorealism, Bloom is completely ridiculous. But, um, by the way, things were good ten years ago. But, um, then what happened was that, that those post-processing effects got replaced by newer post-processing effects and all the art teams switched to using them. And in my opinion, we still didn't really get any photorealism or... or, or know we were still just having like a video game look in my opinion we switched to a worse video game look and um this is the first game where like where like the rtx type stuff actually benefits the game and it's not just because it's you know pandora where like that stuff tends to look kind of bloomy like i just said i enjoy the look of anyway right it's it's more like stuff like when you're when you're standing in a door and like the the light outside is sort of blinding or whatever. It looks really nice. Um. Yeah, all the graphics cards I've paid for over the years to just sort of unlock the ability to play the latest games. At least this one time. It actually felt like I got something for my money when buying the next GPU. Rather than merely a hamster wheel everybody else is on, so I have to be on it too. Well, regardless, it's as good as place as any to uh, stop here. I gotta get 